All right, so hi, I'm Morris Rosenthal for phonerbooks.com, and we're looking today at one of the flow charts from my book, The Laptop Repair Workbook. This is actually one of the draft flow charts that's available on the internet. If you just Googled all my name, Morris Rosenthal, and battery won't charge or something like that, you'll find it pretty easily. It comes up high in Google. The idea with a flow chart like this is to help you avoid making mistakes and logic logically think through the process. Um, for example, I often look on Amazon or Newegg at the reviews for laptop batteries, and you'll find people buying them and saying, my old battery didn't charge, this battery didn't charge either, this battery is a piece of junk. Well, the battery is not a piece of junk. The problem is that your AC adapter is most likely failed. So you can go through these various steps. Uh, like the first step here, and the chart is interactive, is it asks, does it need the AC adapter to boot? In other words, does the laptop need to be plugged in in order to boot? Um, and if you come down and you read the details for that, it says the first step in troubleshooting your laptop battery is determining whether or not it can hold enough charge to boot the notebook. Will the laptop power up and run on the battery, or does the AC adapter, which doubles as the laptop battery charger, need to be plugged in and forward? You click on the little return to diagnostic flow chart, and you follow the way you're going. So let's say in this case it doesn't need the adapter to boot, but you come to the next stop and it's, it asks, is the battery, is the life of the battery too short? Now, if the life of the battery isn't too short and it doesn't need the adapter to boot, the odds are that your problem isn't a, a uh, battery charging problem, but something more of a critter comfort issue, like you come down here and it asks, is the AC adapter noisy? which is very common when you have a uh, lithium ion and a small um, lightweight battery charger because these aren't linear power supplies, they're switching power supplies and they do tend to make noise especially when they're running into a battery that's already charged and then there are some more questions, is the OS battery management active because that can lead to all sorts of problems and it's just a flow chart that you can follow through and it won't work for 100% of problems, 100% of the time. But the idea is to, to teach you, to, to lead you in the right direction. And I developed the idea for these flowcharts years and years ago when I was training technicians for PCs. And my book of PC repair flowcharts, the title is Computer Repair with Diagnostic Flowcharts, has actually been one of the best-selling uh, PC hardware books for the last six years or thereabouts, at least on Amazon. So I'm Morris Rosenthal for Phoner Books, and maybe I'll make a couple more of these.